Hey, need some Madden coins? Check out CheapMaddenCoins.com. They got the best prices, they got fast delivery, and 24-7 custom support. Be sure to use code TEXAS at checkout for a 10% discount. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Texas. We'll be back with some Madden information for you guys in regards to Madden 18. Mutt Champs and other modes closing for NFL Madden 18. I read that backwards. I'm dyslexic. Excuse me. So it's going to be pretty quick. Kralo went ahead and posted this like an hour ago, letting us know exactly what the plan is for Madden 18 to finish out the rest of the year since Madden 19 is coming out in, what, two months. It's kind of crazy to think about that. The game is going to be out in two months. Yo, that's, that's going to be dope. As we're gearing up for Madden 19, the dev team recently gave the community a sneak peek at what they could expect from Mutt for the next season. There's plenty more to come for Madden 19. But in the excitement of what's ahead, this led to a lot of questions about what's currently happening in Mutt. Or Madden this year. I don't know why I just, it doesn't say that, but whatever. I'm going to keep reading. As the new season edges closer, that does mean that some features of, of Madden 18 will no longer be available. You can still play Mutt Champions in Madden 18 until the end of the season, which is going to be the weekend of June 28th to July 1st. So basically, Weekend League will not be an option after July 1st, but you can still play other modes in Madden Ultimate Team where they'll drop content for, which will probably be the rookie premiere around that time, I would assume. Uh, there are a few other features that will be closing and leading in Madden 19, so enough replay promo. This was the last and final week, like I assumed, since it went 17 weeks, so no more NFL replays, which means if you guys only have nine tokens and you can't get 10, go ahead and use it on the Ultimate Legends pack or the um, NFL replay player pack or just anything in general so you can go ahead and get some coins back out of it. Power-ups will be ending Friday on June 8th with the release of a new promo. I'll be in Los Angeles when that drops, and I think the... Promos out there drop at what? Like 7.30? So I may try to live stream that if I possibly can. But that's going to be interesting because there's a lot of cars in this game that we have yet to get power-up wise to a tier. So if power-ups are going to end on June 8th, that means we're probably not going to get movers. We're probably not going to get final edition or anybody else along the lines like that where we can power these players up, which is terrible considering we still don't got a Sherman, we still ain't got a Chris Harris, and we still ain't got a lot of other guys that we invested heavy in at the beginning of the year. I mean... Like, that's, that's interesting to me, and we'll guess we'll see what happens this Friday. Maybe we'll get all the cards. Maybe all the cards that we have powered up will all have 9 and overalls come Friday, and you can just go crazy with that. It'll be kind of dope to see a power-up bonanza this Friday. Uh, and then head-to-head -head series, Mutt Squads rewards. There will not be a Series 5 for head-to-head -head seasons, and no new updates of Mutt Squads rewards going forward. Okay, so... Unfortunately, that means if you're already elite tier five for draft champions, you're elite tier five for nothing. Same thing with salary cap. If they're not going to drop a series five or give you any rewards, that, that's a waste then. They they failed miserably with those because they didn't update those as frequently as they possibly should. And now they're saying that, oh, you've been playing DC, trying to get some crazy rewards. Too bad you're not going to get that. So that's unfortunate. The Madden community has been extremely competitive all season long. While the door is closing on features, this only means you're kicking off the next season. Get ready to launch on August 10th. Looking forward to seeing you on the gridiron. And so, all right. So, yeah, the biggest takeaway here is not getting any power-ups, but we got one more promo coming this Friday, and then a bunch of other little content drops for probably Madden loyalty for Ricky Premier throughout the month of July. But it looks like I think we might get probably a total like maybe four more promos going into Madden 19, which is cool by me. I'm not posting any Madden 18 information. I mean, Madden 18 stuff uh, anymore after July. So I guess I got a month off, a little little, little, little text vacation. Go ahead and get real rested. I said real wet. See, I got to leave. I said well rested. Like, what, what does that even mean? I said real Wested. That is, I'm, I got to go. But yeah, post down in the comment section below your guys' thoughts and opinions on what you guys feel about this. No more power after June 8th, and <laughs> no rewards for series tier, uh, for elite tier for a lot of the modes that you've been playing. So hopefully next year we get a lot more rewards uh, and a lot more consistent updates to those, so that way we're not really feeling like we're getting played. Because that's kind of how I felt this year. EA played us a lot with promos from power-ups and then with rewards from much from what league, if we can league all the way to the elite tier stuff, so and I don't like feeling played. That's that's one thing I'm not a big fan of, bro. When a girl plays me, I get I get heartbroken. When a, when a company plays me, I feel stupid because I should know better. And so, hopefully, EA kind of next year learns their lesson and focuses all their energy on making the game better, 
even if and if they can't do gameplay, make the stuff around it better so that way we're not feeling like we have to complain about things. We shouldn't have to be on here campaigning for them to update draft champions and give us better draft champion rewards. That should be something that just happens naturally. But we're going to be doing it anyway because they're not going to have any idea what they're doing initially until things get rolled out on a large scale. And then that's when we'll all have to give our two cents for them to actually fix it. But yeah, that's what's going to happen for the rest of Mad Knights or Madden 18. Until we get to Mad 19. So, yeah, that's interesting. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.